Okay, let's see if we can uh, explain how this stake engine works to you. It, it's a very compact engine, it hasn't got a lot of parts and it's only got three moving parts actually. So the crank, the inner piston and the outer piston. The uh, outer cylinder is half fabricated out of four pieces here. It's got a back plate. Into the back plate goes bearing housing. Like that. And the crank, the crank goes through there. The crank actually locates to the inner piston there, down that hole there. Uh, the outer piston has got slipper plates here for the outer piston to work in. That sits in there like that. And it works in the horizontal position like this. The inner piston picks up the air from the outer plate. On these ports here, you've got an outer annular port and an inner port, and as you see, it's got these inlets here. On there, it precesses round like that, open and close the ports, and it either taking the air in or exhausting the air out. For vertical movement, which is that way, the air goes in these two ports, or exits them, into the top. So if you're going to the top, push it down, the air's going to the bottom, pushes it up. These flanges here, so you've, they're slightly pressurised on the cylinder there, and it pushes it onto the port face to help to seal it there. For the outer piston, the air's taken from these two ports here, and it goes through where you've got that annual slot so it works up and down and if you just look in there it's got a hole there that lets it come through into the face and so push it that way. Well, I hope that wasn't as clear as mud. Uh, I'll put it together and I'll wind it over so you can see it, see the action. Okay <coughs> there we are we have it uh, assembled up so that's the, the front plate with the ports on. These are the cylinders. Now if I wind it over you can see the action of the and then the and the pistons and cylinders. These ports precess round locating on these either picking the air up or exhausting the air as it goes round. You notice these pieces here are cut out to take the, the flange on the inner piston. Okay, I hope that made it things a lot uh, more uh, explainable to you. I'll get it all together and put some grease on it, etc., and uh, I'll run it up again. Well, here we are with the uh, deck engine all assembled. Not much to see, really. Just a box with a shaft coming out the end. Uh, as you can see, it's self glassing Got a bit of a wobble there. It goes quite nicely without the flywheel, it doesn't need a flywheel. Um, the actual engines went had, had the drive direct into the gearbox so it uh, doesn't need it. And uh, reversing. That's my idea from plastic kitchen then. Quite a greedy engine to uh, uh, 